our mother Hajar, alayha salam. The, the thought that when we go and make tawaf around the Kaaba, that she's buried there. The fact that the like the most blessing you can get, like inside of the Hijrat Ismail, like in that area, that's where she's buried, right? The fact that Subhanallah, this is a woman that literally most people, if you're looking on the outside of it, you're thinking her husband abandoned her. You're thinking that that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has just thrown her away, literally in the desert. Right? But subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves her in the desert with a child. So many stories of like just a woman and a child. She's alone in the desert, subhanallah. And as Ibrahim alayhi salam, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam is walking away. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah, did Allah tell you to do this? Then hasbi Allah. Then Allah is sufficient for me and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of me. He leaves. Right? He leaves. She runs out of water, she runs out of food. I always think about how, how was she when it got dark? You know, you know, we think about like, mashallah, all the lights from the clock tower and the McDonald's and all the hotels. No, none of that was there. She was literally a woman alone in the desert with the child and it got dark I just it's like Ya Rabbi did you send me here to die did you send me here to be eaten alive and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said listen the seed of iman that's in your heart they're gonna witness it to the end of time the seed of Iman, the seed of Tawakun, the seed of Taqwa that's in your heart, people are going to walk in your footsteps just to complete their faith. That you don't have, we don't complete our Islam of the body even until you walk in the footsteps of Hajar, until you make Hajj. <laughs> Until you go and visit her grave. Your, your iman is not even, you haven't finished it yet. You want to earn benefit? You want to become closer to Allah and go make Umrah? Go walk in her footsteps. Go do that. Literally, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala builds the holiest city in the world around her. The holiest city in the world is built around her in her iman, and her taqwa, and her tawakul. There's no secret why that would be the place that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would reveal the final message. There's no secret why that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi not only would be born there, not only that, that the Quran would be recited there, subhanAllah, but when the Prophet sallallahu is going to Isra and Mi'raj, and the angels come and wash his heart, they open his heart, and what do they pour inside? Zamzam, the fruit of her labor, the fruit of her iman. That's what the angels pour into the heart of the Prophet وسلم, for him to be able to take that journey of ascension. SubhanAllah. That which remains of her iman gets poured into the heart of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. There's something special about that. When the tribe of Jurham comes and they come to her and they say, can we stay here? This is after Zemzem, after Jibra'il comes, splits open the earth for her, which I just want you guys to keep, like, Jibra'il comes and descends for her, right? Crocs open the earth for her. Zemzem flows to sustain her, subhanAllah. Tribe of Jurham, come, Jurham comes, and they ask her, can, you, can we stay here? And she says, yes, but I control the water. 
what I love, this is one of those moments you're just like, what? <laughs> like, Allah. Like, first of all, how bold are you? Right? You're a woman alone in the desert. There's no man here to protect you. What do you mean? Right? What are you talking about? We're an entire tribe. Woman, we could take you over. But that kind of confidence comes from what? From a woman who knows her Lord. That kind of confidence comes from a woman who knows Allah. I'm that subhanAllah. Inna Allah ma'asabirin. Inna Allah ma'al muhsinin. She, she has yaqeen. She has certainty despite what it looks like. Despite the apparent reality, she has absolute certainty without doubt, without question. My Lord is there for me. My Lord will take care of me. That as long as I remain firm upon Surat al-Mustaqim, Allah will never leave me. And so they honor that. They honor it. She controls the water. <laughs> she controls the water. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given each and every one of you a zamzam. What's your zamzam? What is your gift that is a means of healing and nurturing? That is a means of nourishment for those in your family, in your community.